Welcome back, realvacantland.com. This is Luke Smith. And I was reading comments, Rare Pearl was asking, uh, California, please. She's saying, you know, she wants more properties in California. Want me to present more properties in California. I presented this one that's in the background before, but I, I want to point it out a little differently this time. I'm calling it Hilltop Build for Views. In the past, I presented this big grandiose house idea on top of this hill. It's got a driveway that comes up. It's in San Diego County. It's on Highway 78. It's between the town of Escondido and Ramona, a little closer to Ramona than Escondido. And um, I was just on the phone with a guy asking for the, the cheapest properties in California. And I didn't think of this one until I hung up, but I think this could be considered one of the cheapest ones in California that we've got on the website. The sticker price is $149,000. You're just like, Luke, cheap? That's not cheap. But it's cheap if you look at the other prices, the other properties around it. It's a lot cheaper than the other properties around the area that are $250,000 and up. Two hundred fifty dollars is like other properties that I have for sale. Four and $500,000 is what other people have for sale. Um, I made that was in the last video. I'll put a link in the description of this video that goes to the competition of what's for sale out there, kinds of synopsis of the market, how much cheaper this is compared to all the others. But... Here's why I think this one's cheap. I think this one's cheap because you could put a manufactured home on it and because the it's not just out in the middle of nowhere. It is, um, it's in an area that can support the sale of a home with a lot of bidders, a lot of people after it, short days on market, nice premiums. I think my gut, my intuition says there's probably a $250,000 spread on buying this property, putting a manufactured home on there, nice manufactured home on there, Having the company do the, you know, a water well, uh, scrape the property and hook up the power line and, you know, get the, get the thing going, right? Get it all set up, get the septic set up. To, so you got a home there, a home that you can use. Now going from vacant land to home that you can use, I think it's going to be like a $250,000 spread because that's what I see in a lot of the trades in Southern California, people doing this. Now let's take my land, let's look at the market and let's see what it really is. I haven't done this before I made the video, I'm on the fly, I'm probably gonna be egg on my face when it finds something else, but let's see what <laughs> let's see what happens. Okay, California please, I'm turning California please into a place you can put a manufactured home and I think with that kind of differential, it makes it the cheapest stuff out there. Cheap, fast, easy. Okay, so let's jump into ruralvacantland.com. I've got a lot of pictures, you can go look at the pictures of this property um, by hitting the link that'll take you back to the website. Um, there's, yeah, the link is in the description. So this was my, uh, I don't know why it's going to there. So here's my old, the old video will show on here. It's just showing like what they're recommending for me. Here's some maps. You can look at maps. So the street comes right up to this thing. It's the top of a hill looking out all over the area. And the main point I wanted to show today is that you could put a manufactured home here. Okay. So let's look at where this is on the map. So I get an idea of the right place. Um, so this is this is um, Escondido with Walmart showing up over here. Here's Ramona with, uh, you know, they've got schools and restaurants and gas and cafes and groceries and all that kind of stuff. Here's Highway 78 going right past the, the property. And then there's a bunch of trails and uh, nature just down the road. These trails hook up to the back of this, this area too. So you could hike up over around. There's a lot of hiking in the area. San Diego Safari Park is just down the road. So we're on San Pasquale Valley. Just past that up the road is this property. So if you went to, the, if you know the San Diego Wild Animal Park or San Diego Zoo Safari Park, as they call it now, um, you, and if you've been out to that part of town, you go further up that road and you get to this property. Okay, so that's the map. This is more for like my point of reference to do this. So I got San Diego County pulled up here and we're gonna zoom in on the, uh, okay, here's the 78. Here's Escondido, the little town we're talking about. And here's Ramona, the other little town. The property's gonna be in here somewhere. So I've got it all for sale, lots of land, but I wanted to switch it over to manufactured. So we're gonna look at manufactured and see if we can get some hopefully some for sale and some comps of what a, uh, we're going to try to find a brand new manufactured, what a brand new manufactured home in this area sells for. Um, okay. So our property would be like in here, this would be our, our driveway. Here's our road. Here's the driveway to the property. This is, this is the property right here. 
So let's zoom out from there and let's find manufactured. Okay, and so when you're shopping manufactured, you gotta know if you get the land or not. So lots of times you'll get these cheap manufactured homes that are in a mobile home park and you're paying rent. I mean, the rent in California might be seven, eight hundred, fifty, or maybe even fifteen hundred dollars a month. So you got to buy the home and pay the rent to keep it there on the lot. Not, I don't want those. So we're going to try to filter through the manufactured homes and look for the ones that are on land. So a lot of the ones that will come up are going to be in these parks. We're going to, should be able to tell, and then uh, we'll go for land. So these are all in parks. These are parks. I'm just going eyeballing them here. Okay, these are all parks. Okay, let's zoom out some more, see if we can find a new one for sale on land. 500 grand space. When it says space number in the, uh, the you know, there's a little lot of space numbers. Um, these are all space numbers. We might have to go to solds. land you might be able to put one on these are all uh, okay so let's let's try sold maybe I should have looked at this ahead of time so I'm not wasting your your time um, so prep my idea before doing this is that the price that I'm selling the land for $150,000 and the price that you can sell a manufactured home on land for is a big there's a big difference and you're probably paying $100,000 for a nicer manufactured home in this market, maybe even 125 or 150 for a really nice one. Um, you're probably paying, you know, another good $50,000 to get it delivered and set up and graded and septic and maybe even 75 grand. You start putting a well and power line in there. Let's call it a hundred. So a house, and set up and all that crap it's kind of two, roughly two hundred thousand dollars my land is a hundred and fifty thousand dollars we're talking three hundred and fifty thousand dollars and they do like three and a half percent financing for those so for the three hundred fifty thousand dollar kind of idea of getting the land a nice home the water well the septic it delivered and set up i i think is makes sense um so three, let's call it 350, and if you're doing 5% down on that, 10% would be 35,000, half of that would be um, 17 and a half thousand dollars. So you, theoretically, if you could get an FHA financing on that kind of setup, it'd be 17, you'd be sub $20,000 to get into one of these properties, this property behind me with a big view. And then, can we sell it for more than 350? Let's find an example, and that's what I'm looking for. Okay, so. Hopefully I'm uh, explaining. Here's one, that's a space number. All these solds are in mobile home parks. I wanna find one that's not in a mobile home park. This is out past town, that's space numbers too. So the property is going to have a proper address. When it's a mobile home park, it's the space number this and space number that. Um, <laughs> I thought I'd be able to find one. You go even further out into the hills. Well, what is this? So data here's uh, 489. So this was uh, 11 24 20. So a little, like a year and a half ago, this one sold for four hundred eighty nine thousand dollars. And um, this is an older manufactured home. It's not a new manufactured home. It's uh, double wide. It's got a garage building next to it as well. Looks like the garage is set up that you could live in it. Two for the price of one, and um, so basically it was listed on 9-10-2020 for 509000 and then on 9-12, so two days on the market, 
it went pending and then it went for 489 but before that it was listed and removed they they had it listed for five months in 2019 and nothing happened when they asked 459 i don't know what happened back then they had it listed for rent in 2015 for 1500 dollars a month so but basically they by the time it, they had it up for sale this last time it was on the day on the market for two days before somebody grabbed it up and took off with it that sounds like about right um so that was 489 now imagine if it, we had a new one that was polished and just placed on a hill with a view like uh, um, like this property that I'm selling for 150 grand. Um, if you had a, a brand new manufactured home up on this hill and it cost you 350 grand and the old ugly one that just sold for 489 before COVID, I mean, you probably wanna add another 30, 40% on there with COVID prices. Um, you know, but let's say 489 is the best comp I've seen so far. Here's another one. Let's see where this one is. This is not a space. 455. This is Ramona. This looks like uh, at least newer inside. Let's see if could find the age on this. This might be a newer manufactured home. That's older stuff next to it. I mean, it's new age um, floor coverings and, and stuff. But a lot of the other stuff in the yard is older. They might have removed an old one and put a new one on it or something. Let's see if they got the age. This was... Uh, about a little over a year ago this one sold for 455 and this is Ramona this is further up the hill this is further out I'm thinking no this is pretty close to where we're at this is across the street from where we're at one acre parcel the one I've got is like nine acres remodeled manufactured home okay so it's not new it's remodeled and they've got new floor that's why I was thought, thought the floor looked more modern this is a 2000, so it's built in 2000. So, I mean, you're gonna add a bunch of uh, price on top of that 455. Uh, so we got a 455, what was the other one? 495, 489. So upper 400s, and you can do this one for like 350. 350 compared to, and we got bigger land and it'd be newer. I bet you you're in the 500 solid, maybe 600 grand. Which, if you, if you got six hundred grand for putting a manufactured home on top of here, um, and you went down two hundred fifty grand, you'd be at three fifty. I think that would be it. So if you built this thing for three fifty and then marked it up two hundred fifty grand, you'd be selling for six hundred grand class kind of house in the area, eight or nine acres on the hill, looking out over everything. Um, I think that's that's a really good trade. So people asking for California, like a real one that you could go actually knock over, make happen. I think this is a this is a good one. I think I've lowered the price too much on this one. It should probably go up another hundred grand to like two hundred and fifty. Would probably make more sense. But uh, I want it sold. So take a look at it. See if this is the right one for you. Thanks for listening. Thanks for watching. It's Luke Smith, RealVacantLand.com. See you in the next one. Bye.